All right, guys. I've so got a what is it? Ten minute game up against a player rated thirteen nineteen. This is unrated, so just for the fun of it. And what is this Horowitz attack? Horvitz, Horvitz attack. So it looks like he wants to fianca to his bishop. Um, C five is playable. D five looks normal. And now I have a free pawn. I could push this pawn and then maybe push e4. I can't push e4 first because bishop takes, but if I push d4, is that just overextending? Is he going to push this? But then he blocks in his bishop. I have no idea. Let's push c6. In case he takes, I recapture and I get the pawn majority in the centre, yeah? This is all already funky. I have never come across this gun. Oh, okay, now it's called the Papatikula Gambit. Well, did I do that? No. Okay, this is the Papatikula Gambit. Leaving this pawn on e4 undefended. Okay, and now he's taken, so I'm simply going to recapture with this. I, I just first need to check what happens if bishop comes out. Queen can't come out. Bishop comes out and checks. I've got block, block, or block. So happy. Happy with that. And now I have a pawn center and he doesn't. My opponent is called Ghost Ghast. Rated 1319 from UK. All right, we have night out. I could bring this knight out. If bishop takes, I've always got queen there. Um, my dark squared bishop is a good bishop. My, my light squared bishop is a poor bishop. So I would like very much to swap off my light squared bishop. I'm just going to move him here. Yes, my opponent has ideas of bringing his bishop out to there. So now he can't go there, there, or there. He's only got two options if he wants to castle quickly. Okay, we have d4. We might have c4 at some point in time. But we could maybe... See, if I do this and he plays c4 anyway, and I take and he takes, then he could still mess with my center. This is defended three times okay but what he has done here is he's blocked off this bishop that's that's just not good he must be having ideas of some kind of queenside attack with pawns I think is this playable not really I should develop I should develop a knight at the very least. I think you maybe bring bishop out here, maybe knight here. Just trying to improve the, the way I read the game. I think that kind of just comes over time, really, you know. This knight can now come out freely because it's not even under attack by that bishop because the pawn's in the way. So this, I think, is, is a weakness right now. If I could get a pawn to here, I could stop that advance, but I can't really do that right now. Let's throw pawns up. Still want to develop the bish, maybe the queen behind it, or do the tactic that I like to do on the exchange variation, put the queen here with a bishop behind it with the idea of at some point coming in with a queen. Okay, he's, he's gone for that already, see? But if he takes, I have knight takes. I'm quite happy with that, and it still blocks this pawn. That's kind of important. The blockage of the pawn. And it's going to leave him with an isolated pawn as well. Now, he might push here, which is fine, because I just dropped the bishop back to b8, which is kind of something I wanted to do anyway. I'm now ready to castle. <sighs> I 
two defenders. Two defenders. I think castling makes sense now. Still let him do this if he wants to do that. Knock himself out. If he does that, then he's lost all hope of dislodging this pawn. Okay, what's he thinking now? I've got... This pawn's attacked twice and defended twice. He's blocked the bishop's defence with that, but I've only got one attacker. But before I put my bishop here, maybe I should be developing this rook and kind of centralise this rook, but I don't really know how. I could put my bishop there and pin the knight on the rook. That's a thought. Well, how about even knight here? What does knight there do? Tax this bishop, which can't go to safety unless it goes all the way back here. And that's going to block in his rook. Yeah, let's do that. Because this knight was only looking at this pawn, which was already defended. And, you know, there's a couple of other pieces that could be defending it as well. So I don't think that knight was really serving any great purpose. So let's try and eliminate this good bishop. This bishop's awful. I hate it. Might go here. Okay, so he's come off this diagonal. Right, not that one, but nearly that one. He's come off that. That makes me happy. That makes me ha happy. Um, um, okay, now. It's still defended twice. Okay, I'm just going to move my... Let's, no, let's do it, come on. Bishop all the way back. Queen to here. I have to eliminate that knight, and then I've got checkmate threat. Boom! H2. And see if we can somehow tempt him, tickle that knight away. Okay, that's kind of forced. Still, if takes, I've got knight takes, improves my knight. Okay, his bishop's come back now to where it wanted to be all along. If I push four and I've got one, two defenders, he's got three attackers, doesn't work. Let's improve the queen. Now, Operation Dislodge the Knight. Operation Horsey Horsey, come here, Horsey. Hey, hang on. So with that bishop, oh, he's, uh, he's twigged it. He's twigged it. Okay. So now we need to change plans, you see. Change of plan. Okay, I'm going to put my bishop here. Because now I've got two attackers on that pawn, because he's blocked his queen's defense of the pawn again, hasn't he? So, let's have a little go at that. Quite like this game. We've only lost a pawn each. I'm a bit down on time because I'm talking to you. But it doesn't matter, it's unrated. And it's only a game. Right, two defenders. Still one, two, and then three attackers. So pawn breaks aren't looking too good. If he takes here and I take there, I'm happy about that. So how about b5 as a pawn break? Try and mess some stuff up. That's an undefended bishop. That's knight is undefended. Middle game. Thinking about improving your pieces and pawn breaks. Pawn breaks are significant. It changes the whole feel of the game, it changes the whole ballpark, playing area, battlefield, whatever you, pick your metaphor and run with it, we've got takes, 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 so, but he has taken to the out, outside, leaving me with a pawn centre and leaving himself with an isolated pawn, not necessarily a bad thing. Also opens up a line for my rook, possibly. And all of that is happening away from my king, so I'm not overly concerned. He's down, he's approaching five and a half minutes, I'm a 4.20. Okay, so knight takes is what we said we are going to do. 
And that's just resolved everything. That's fine. He took to the center. He's now got an isolated pawn. Problem with isolated pawns is, <clears throat> in the end game, they're particularly weak. So, here's a, a, a general tip. When your opponent has an isolated pawn, okay, so we've got Pawn Island of two, we've got a solo, right, with fresh air all around him. No other pawns can come to his aid. Um, so when your opponent has an isolated pawn and you don't, the name of the game is Simplify. Right, he's pinned my knight. So I might think about moving my... He can't really attack it with anything. Oh, he can play knight here. Knight here. So, let's prevent that, shall we? Just that. Still got a rubbish bishop here. This bishop's not too clever, but it, it is gunning down towards h7. <laughs> Defended three times now. Boom, boom, boom. Attacked only once. So that is a simple fact. I'm not taking that pawn. I'm not even thinking about taking that pawn. Don't know why you're even mentioning taking the pawn. Okay, so now he's added a third, def fourth defender to that pawn that I wasn't even interested in taking. It was your idea all along. I never even said anything about taking the stupid pawn. Okay. I might like to get my queen off the line of fire of this rook at some point, but I don't have to do it now. Hmm, that's undefended that night. I don't want to push, I don't want to let him eliminate his, his isolated pawn, so I'm going to centralise a rook now. Just for fun. Don't know how I'm going to win this game, that's the problem. This is what you need to be thinking, how, if I'm going to win this game, how could it happen? That pawn stays there, right? This knight is, is going nowhere, he's probably going to need to dislodge the knight if he's going to have any, any hope. Um, how about bishop here and storming the castle? The knight takes... Yeah, well, it's a thought, but I don't want to be checkmated right now. I'm going to plug this hole with a rook so the rook defends these pawns here. Dark squares are quite safe because of stupid-ass bishop, as I've named him. There, pawn takes, knight takes, paired knights, hitting queen... And covering that square. <sighs> I think not. Not on this occasion. Sunshine. Boom, boom. One of these rooks might wants to come to here. Line up with the white king. How many defenders on this now? Has he neglected? I've got two attackers. One, two. He's got two defenders right now. But no, still no dice, no dice at all. Might even lift both rooks. Belt and braces. Or suspenders, as you say in America. Okay. Not thinking twice about that. Let's serve up a checkmating threat. He can't play this. Okay. Ha ha. I'd love to play my knight in here, but I don't want this pawn to move. Okay, let's renew my attention to this pawn. Now you see, he's only got the one. I probably don't want to take it anyway. I'm just, just messing with him. This bishop's now rotten, isn't it? So I need to move this knight, and I want to get this bishop here lined up with over there, yeah? So what are we going to do? Knight back here. Knight back here looks sensible. Defending a couple of pawns, yeah. Bishop here, line up with the king, maybe even come to here. With some kind of evil attack on the queen, but secretly checkmating ideas. Okay, take that. Now he's having to think, right? So 
what I'm doing is I'm complicating stuff. This pawn is actually now under defended. I think it was a little rash moving the g-pawn. And look at these knights now. All those squares are out for both of them. Hmm. Give that queen here. Knight takes, attack the queen. If he takes, takes, and then I'm threatening f2. That looks kind of nasty. I think a key to this game has been he put his bishop there. You know, right early on. So, okay, I think what he's doing here is defending this. I don't think he's got any ambitions of flying in here because there's no support. So, I have still got queen here, maybe knight takes. You still looks okay. 1 minute 20, so I've got nearly a minute more than him. So now the name of the game is to run his clock down by preventing him from winning. If his clock runs down and he hasn't checkmated me, I win. Provided I've still got a pawn on the board. You can win with a king and a pawn. You can't win with a king on his own, or a king and a bishop, or a king and a knight. What are you doing now? What's that, sir? Huh? Right, I spy with my little eye a double attack. Oh no, my pawn. I know my bishop. Um, hmm. Okay, now is the time to be cool. Right, he's attacking that, it's defended by the knight. So let's do this. If the rook should move, okay, that's fine. I now have three attackers on here. And that's one of them. Boom. Check. Don't think I'm even bothered. Don't think I'm bothered. I've got, I've got this now. Ooh. Yeah. See, that would have been another really nice discovery, yeah? Here. Bishop takes with... Ch oh, no, then queen takes. Never mind. Forget I said that. Right. Pin my rook, would you, you devil? Well, I'm, I can't go on the lights. These two are out of bounds. I'm going to go here. You can't fork with the knight because pawn takes. Okay. Check me, would you? Check this. Huh. Right, we need pressure. Lots of it. He's, a, he's actually, he's got two minor pieces up. So how do we pressurize? I've lost a load of material. I was winning. And now I'm not. Which vexes me. Okay. He can't check me there now with a queen. I'm attacking this and he's got 20 seconds. Come on, buddy. You've got 20 seconds to try and win. Okay, I'm not going to... I'm going to throw in... Oh! Ah! Oh, it's all right. We said that. We said that. It's fine. No worries. No panic, Mr. Menoring. Okay, Bishop can come in with check, but then I can come here. Bishop comes there. Get out of it. Check you. Boom. All right. You're not going to win now. Don't think you are. You've got 12 seconds. Come on. On your marks. Could have taken the bishop. But I also have a check of my own. Check. Here. Okay. Not sure what you're doing. He's got five seconds. Oh, I've got three. Right. 
Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh, what did I do wrong there? I allowed him to checkmate me is what I did wrong. I shouldn't have moved that. I should have just moved the king here. King here. Then he takes and I just dance away. Oh, but that was good fun. Lots and lots of good fun. All right, thanks to my opponent. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I'll see you later.